colder weather has come to our country house, so it looks at least a bit like winter again. We arrived just before it started snowing. This is just a short snow shower, but it still makes our stay here more interesting. It's fascinating to watch the snowflakes gracefully falling from the sky. But not everyone likes the cold. What's happening here? <laughs> it's so cold. You do realize it's gonna take like two days before it's warm here, right? No, I refuse to <laughs> acknowledge that. <laughs> My feet are cold. I need to warm up somehow. You have to warm up by moving, not by lying. <laughs> Still better here than like in the room. And it's so fluffy. I like the texture of this. <laughs> so at least something is pleasant. <laughs> uh. It's a nightmare, guys, always when we come here in winter. It's so cold. We should stay here so that we wouldn't have to heat it up every time. Yeah, we should stay here forever. Sadly, my work doesn't allow me. So, yeah, hard life. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sweaters. <laughs> This one, and they are very thick. This one is warm, and this one. But it's not enough here. I would need like 20 <laughs> at the beginning. You can bring your hat and gloves. <laughs> yeah, I should. I will take yours, because that one is warm. <laughs> Isn't it better? Brr. <laughs> Let me lay here for a few seconds and I'm going out of the bed. I don't want to, but life is hard. <laughs> it's freezing this time and immediately it's so much easier to be on a hike here. <laughs> we don't have to take care of the mud anymore. So no more warm weather, but this is just for a few days this frost from northeast and a bit of snow very tiny amount but at least it feels like winter again yeah it does and the days are getting longer mm -hmm. so far by 20 minutes yes, since december 20 minutes. oh my god it's <laughs> happening but it's getting faster so that's positive news at least yes we arrived today and it's so cold in the house <laughs> that we decided we better go outside for a walk because we don't need to freeze there in the house we can freeze outside Yay. and it's warmer here i think <laughs> it's not really warmer but it feels warmer when we are like in our gloves and winter hats and everything and on the move oh, and on the move yeah that's the main thing because we can be fully clothed inside <laughs> but <laughs> that's not very convenient Mm -hmm. So this is better and we are on the move, on the fresh air, it's healthier and better. Yeah. It was 8 degrees inside when we arrived and we want to get it to 20, but that's going to take like a day and a half. Yes. I don't think we're going to reach 20 today because it's colder outside, so it takes longer. Yeah, yeah. But it's still financially better to set the heating on a lower temperature when we are not here and then heat it up again. Yeah. We were reading more about forest ownership because we're interested in the topic even though we are not planning to buy a piece of land and it's quite strict here even compared to other countries because as we mentioned you are not allowed to put a fence around you have to keep every land accessible to public if it's outside of urban area outside of the village outside of the city mm -hmm. So that includes forests as well. You cannot build there anything. You have to let anyone in. You have to let people pick up uh, fallen branches. You have to let them pick fruits for their own needs, mm -hmm. not for commercial uh, stuff. Yeah, or mushrooms and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But just in small amounts. 
and sometimes there are dedicated spots where you can build a cabin in the woods but it's like a lot of cabins in one uh, spot and you don't own the land around the cabin and it's still accessible to public so people can walk under your windows and stuff mm -hmm. so that's not what we want yeah we were reading about it and it works like that here in central europe in austria czech republic switzerland also in scandinavia and in some other countries in northern europe so it's not everywhere all land all nature is accessible for everyone and there's a really dense uh, network of hiking trails in the czech republic right yeah yeah it's the densest in the world so there are hiking trails everywhere in our country it's interesting these laws have been in effect for a very long time for centuries i think so for us it's very normal that's how it is here and how it's always been so people don't question it and people are used to going in nature everywhere sometimes there are fences in the forests like here but that's for example when they need to plant new trees and they want to protect them from animals and even then uh, there are stairs where you can enter even though there's nothing in there so i don't actually know why there are here <laughs> <laughs> But at least you can look around. Yeah, you are on the top of the world. There is ice here. But it's not very stable. <laughs> so this pond is called In Little Ponds. <laughs> that's the name of this pond. <laughs> so that's nice. And sometimes there is more water here, mainly in spring like after winter the water accumulates here but over the time it goes down isn't it something like retention uh, reservoir yeah something like that i think but maybe there is some spring here somewhere i don't know the frost and snow are long gone and today we can see what the typical winter weather here looks like. Grey skies, dark, it's 5 degrees Celsius, there is cold wind, not much, but you can feel it. So it's very unpleasant to be outside. But our garden is still a bit alive. <laughs> there is a leak, of course only two of them remaining so i'm going to dig this one out i cleaned it up a bit removed the roots and it looks kind of nice and it will look even nicer in the city <laughs> and, it's very fresh yeah and surprisingly Aragua is still growing. We thought it's over when it was frosty and there was a lot of snow. It looked very sad. But now the leaves are fresh again. The frost didn't destroy them. So we can have Aragua again. It's very long. Like it's been here for a long time. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it is. It's nice to harvest things in January or in winter. It is, it is. So, yeah, I like this. And here we have spinach. And we already know from last year that this is normal. The spinach will keep growing until spring. And then Tommy will plant a new batch. But this one will be still here, right? Yeah, last spring it looked even better than the new one, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, quite a nice harvest. Nice. And it's very interesting to us, Aragula, because we thought it likes warm weather. But in summer it doesn't grow well here. Usually it goes very fast into flower you know it bolts really fast and then it's over very quickly but when it's colder it grows nicely 
Yeah, it seems to love winter here. Yeah, and I thought really that the frost would destroy all the plants, but now it keeps growing. So that's new. So this is very nice, but otherwise the garden is very boring in winter. It goes well with the boring weather <laughs> that we have all the time. Yeah, but most people don't have anything, any veggies left, and we keep harvesting during winter. Yeah, so. yeah, I like that. Go. We are in the cellar where we store our potatoes. We still have some left. Not that many, but it looks like for a few more meals we have enough. Yeah, it looks good to me. So that's nice. And an interesting thing about this cellar is that there is usually a bed sleeping here during the day. Just one single <laughs> bed. Our bed. <laughs> yeah. But right now it's not here, so I guess it relocated somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. It's here every day except today. <laughs> oh no. This cellar is quite humid, so when we tried to put apples here, they started to get moldy or something, mm -hmm. so we moved them elsewhere. But potatoes like humid environment, so it's great for them. Mm -hmm. I think we have enough. And let me also take a bit of rosemary. I feel like rosemary grows better in winter. I feel like there are bigger gains during winter Maybe. compared to summer. At least it looks greener. Fresh. Yeah, fresher. In summer the color is somewhat faded. Uh -huh. So maybe in winter is the main growth happening. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, could be. Ta -da. So we put rosemary on our baked potatoes and that's very tasty. And why? There's and one why? more reason. Yes, there is a reason. My note is wrong. <laughs> Sorry. It has healthy benefits because when potatoes are getting baked, uh, acryl amide, that's a substance that's not good for you, uh, gets created. And when you add rosemary, there is less acryl amide. next evening and we are here again <laughs> these are our usual winter evenings here at the country house we always do something with our produce that we had harvested previously yeah because the weather isn't very good to be outside so we can spend the time inside and be productive as well yeah and the days are short so it's dark outside yeah. very soon so there is nothing better to do than spend time here in the kitchen at the table and <laughs> prepare everything. I used or I tried using a nutcracker once and it wasn't good. It was very slow. The shells were flying everywhere and this is faster. Using a hammer <laughs> is definitely better. It looks like this year we won't have much work because the harvest is not very good. We waited for too long uh, before picking the walnuts from the ground and it was very wet and humid in the autumn. So a lot of them got bad and so we left them there. Yeah, moldy. 
So we made a mistake. We left them on the ground for too long in the wet conditions. Yeah. So as always, we learn something every year and next year we'll be smarter. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. And in the end, we have this much. And <laughs> let me weigh it so we know how much exactly this much <laughs> is. It looks more than I anticipated. Yeah, yeah, this was quite a nice surprise. So this is 500 grams. Wow. That is quite bad from such a big tree, but next year it will be better. We promise, guys. It's one tenth of what we buy every year. Okay. 10%. <laughs> yeah, quite sad, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. It should get more frosty in the coming days. No snow, but quite frosty. And we are afraid about our barrels because there is some leftover water there. <laughs> and at first we were like, it was going to be okay. Like nothing is going to happen even if the water freezes. But now we are not so sure, so Look. It's quite interesting. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. So luckily it wasn't completely frozen and oh, <laughs> now we have this. <laughs> I can serve breakfast on this or uh -huh. something. It's a tray. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put it here uh -huh. and it will be additional moisture for this shrub. So this one got lucky. Yeah. And look at this. And it's happy eyes. <laughs> yeah, happy eyes. <laughs> there is more. I already did two more barrels. So that's why this was easy because I already knew that it's going and it's not a disaster. <laughs> this one is very interesting. Wow. Look. <laughs> this is almost <laughs> like a cup or something. Wow. I can drink from this. There is water. So it's very pretty. <laughs> Just one glass, okay? <laughs> so I really like it. <laughs> ones are here. We will store them on top of each other. And then we have this smaller one. The lids. Yeah. I'll put them there as well so that we have everything in one place. We continue to live our simple quiet lives in these boring days. But we don't really mind, because this is what we like. We don't need much to be happy. Simple joys are what we prefer. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed our video. And see you guys next time. Bye!